What's up you guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Madison Hill and clearly, as you can tell by my appearance, I was not prepared to film a pop-off today. I have literally been traveling. I am back in Kansas City. Just opened up a bottle of wine to have some wine with Mama Hill and boom, the news breaks that Demi Lovato and Max Erich have ended their engagement and they have gone their separate ways. So you know I had to take a pause, come up here and talk to you guys about it. This is gonna be a quick pop-off, but I just, we needed to discuss. So earlier today, Let's talk about some facts. Earlier today, Page Six came out with a report that said Demi and Max were on their way to a breakup. They had an insider tell them that they weren't broken up yet, but it was on its way. Then later, People Magazine came through with a confirmation and let us know that Demi and Max have officially broken up and ended their engagement. The source said, quote, it was a tough decision, but Demi and Max have decided to go their separate ways to focus on their respective careers. The source went on to say, quote, they have respect and love for one another another and will always cherish the time that they spent together. Keep in mind that they have only been dating six months. They've been engaged to. We all knew it wasn't going to last, but I feel like I did expect a little more out of Demi. I did expect a little bit of a longer engagement. I'm going to go ahead and have a sip of my wine and that way I can continue to pop off. Actually, one more. That wasn't enough. Okay, so let's get into it. Demi and Max and this insider, they can say it was a tough decision all they want, but let's be real. I think this had 1000% something to do with those Selena Gomez tweets because how convenient that we are getting this broken engagement confirmation just a few weeks after those Selena Stan tweets went public. Now again, we've known about them since Max and Demi started dating, but everyone just caught on last week which is crazy to me. And it also was revealed that he was basically thirsting after a ton, <laughs> a ton of other of our favorite female celebs as well. So Demi just happened to be the one who finally gave him the ticket inside. And I am so happy that they have ended it because I did feel like it was not a good situation. We did feel like this was Ariana Grande and Pete Davidson vibes. And I feel like obviously it just had this exact same ending. I'm not surprised. I don't think any of you are surprised. If you are surprised by this, that's okay. I, I just don't really understand. So maybe you can let me know why you're surprised down there in the comments because I feel like this absolutely was the only way these two could end. They were way too lovey-dovey on social media. No one is like that in real life. They started dating pretty much after they met, they quarantined together. That was another red flag. The fact that then he started talking about wanting to release music, then he got this movie deal. It was just red flags all over the freaking place. And honestly, I feel like the Selena Gomez tweets were just the icing on the cake. Max, I was rooting for you a little bit, a little bit. Actually, no, I wasn't rooting for you. Max really at all. I just felt bad because I wanted to see Demi happy because at the, at the end of the day, I do love Demi Lovato and I am a Lovatic, but let's be honest, you know, we all saw this coming. We all really had to have seen this coming. Personally for me, now I'm ready for Demi to come out with the bops. I Love Me was 75% of the way there, but you guys know I talked about this on the live with Courtney. Her album, Tell Me You Love Me, is one of my favorite albums of all time. It's one of my friends and I's favorite albums of all time. So now that Demi is single, I want her to put all of this emotion of her broken engagement. Thank God she most likely bought the ring because then she doesn't have to give it back. She can keep it or keep the money, whatever she wants to do. And hopefully just give us some really great freaking music. So that's kind of how I feel about this. I know this was kind of all an all over the place pop off, but I just wanted to react to this and let you guys know what's going on and tell you that yes, by all appearances, this news is true that Demi and Max have called it quits and we weren't that surprised. All right, now I'm going to go and finish having wine night with Mama Hill. But before I go, if you guys could please give this video a thumbs up, please make sure you hit that subscribe button and don't forget that notification bell because this was a surprise video and you never want to miss anything. Also, while you're at it, make sure to check out my Trader Joe's haul. Tons of you were asking for it, and I had so much fun filming it and letting you know all of my Trader Joe's faves. So make sure you check out that video as well. And also, if you could give me a follow on Instagram, I would really, really appreciate it. All right. Cheers, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.